a very good morning student today we will discuss the next practical the title or aim of this practical is to synthesize salicylic acid from alkyl salicylate by hydrolysis reaction okay now the reaction is given here when methyl salicylate is reacting with two mole of sodium hydroxide it gives you sodium salicylate means here uh, hydrogen at um, from the hydroxyl group hydrogen atom is replaced with sodium atom and in the ester that is coo ch3 in that methyl group is replaced with sodium atom okay now uh, so your product becomes sodium salicylate uh, by removing of the by product methanol and water then again this sodium salicylate is reacted with h2so4 here this sodium and uh, this acid and this sodium which is um, bis okay means that particular sodium and uh, this uh, acid they both get neutralized and we will get the product salicylic acid by the pro uh, by removing of the product di sodium sulfate okay now uh, what is the objective we have we have seen in the first practical that is what is the objective for the synthesis of the synthesis of your medicinal product okay means this this is application like uh, to synthesize different medicinal uh, important product uh, so their product uh, have the pharmacological actions and they can be used for the getting your de uh, desired effect in on your body okay now references in the references you can refer the obles practicals book then bucket and stanley's and um, mock index this all uh, reference book you can refer from that you can get the uh, synthetic procedure for this salicylic acid now requirement in the requirement you will require in the chemicals methyl salicylate sulfuric acid 6 molar sodium hydroxide 6 molar then apparatus in the apparatus 200 ml beaker flask filtration apparatus 200 ml reflux uh, reflux apparatus this requirement should be needed at the time of this synthesis now you, you can uh, uh, you can uh, refer the observation table in the observation table you can refer the different physical and chemical properties of the reagents which requires for your uh, synthesis uh, from merck index and all that uh, references book you can uh, you can take that data Uh, like melting point boiling point molecular weight density uses okay role in the particular synthesis you can refer and get the data now next is the principle principle for this synthesis of this methyl salicylate to salicylic acid in this alkaline hydrolysis of esters esters coo ch3 is is uh, is the functional group of the ester means ester this ester is called means alkal alkaline hydrolysis of ester is called a saponification okay saponification you must be heard uh, in the saponification mail you uh, we will learn in the fats and oil what is the saponification what forms saponification means formation of soap so okay means here uh, which uh, is or which reagent can use for the formation of both uh, soap or uh, saponification uh, koh or sodium hydroxide these both reagent are used for the saponification so in this synthesis we have used uh, sodium hydroxide means this alkaline hydrolysis of ester is called as saponification and is an irreversible process Now what is the meaning of irreversible irreversible means when when the this particular reactant methyl salicylate get converted into salicylic acid they can't reverse back means we can't from salicylate acid to methyl salicylate we can't prepare that salicylic acid to methyl salicylate so this is irreversible means once from uh, salicylic acid from methyl salicylate they can uh, they can't they can't back converted into the methyl salicylate so this is irreversible okay now 
here one mole of methyl salicylate um, methyl salicylate from uh, from which source is obtained oil of wintergreen from, from this source this methyl salicylate is obtained and the, uh, this react with with whom two moles of sodium hydroxide to form sodium salicylate with methanol and water then this sodium uh, uh, hydroxide is used for the replacement of one hydrogen atom and one methyl group and we will get the byproduct as a methana, uh, methanol and the water and our desired product is a disodium salicylate then again this sodium okay this sodium salicylate is reacted with sulfuric acid or any hydrochloric acid to remove the sodium ion from that particular um, particular product to form the salicylic acid and we will get the product as a sodium sal sa sodium bisulfate as a byproduct and we will get the desired product uh, name is salicylic acid okay then procedure procedure is in the procedure first step is take the 3 ml of methyl salicylate uh, 3 ml of uh, salicylate what is the density density is 1.184 is taken into a 200 ml rbf means here we have taken 3 ml of methyl salicylate into the 200 ml rbf this is first step then 50 ml of 6 molar noh solution and few pieces of porcelain are added the solution is reflexed for 30 to 45 minutes from the point of the mixture start to boil means here then again in the first step we have to add 50 ml of 6 molar noh solution and this mixture we have to heat or reflux for the 30 to 45 minute then what is the next step in the next step we have to if the reaction mixture still has oil or is a cloud, cloudy continues to reflux once the mixture is clear and homogeneous then the solution is checked the whether it is it no longer having smell of oil of winter green means here we have to check whether that uh, particular mixture in the uh, uh, in the reflux uh, is cleared or not clear or oily in nature if the mixture is oily or something that then we have to heat again for 15 to 20 minute until the mixture get converted into the clear clear homogeneous mass why because clear homogeneous mass is nothing but the conversion of uh, conversion of this methyl salicylate to disodium salicylate okay if the uh, clear uh, reaction mixture is formed then this particular disodium salicylate uh, salicylate solution get formed then again if the so, uh, if the smell still exist then continue to reflux for some more minutes remove the porcelain pieces and the solution is transferred to a 250 ml of a beaker then then again we have to check whether that smell of that winter green oil is persisted or uh, if there is a smell of winter green oil then we have to again reflux for the some more minutes and after get uh, after complete uh, converting of this uh, methyl salicylate to disodium salicylate then we have to remove or stop that uh, reaction uh, mixture or reflux and we have to remove the uh, porcelain pieces and then solution is transferred to a 250 ml of beaker okay now this is procedure until the uh, disodium salicylate formation then we have to neutralize the, this particular sodium ion with acid okay then again we have to add 6 molar h2so4 or hydrochloric acid is uh, into the into the that particular mixture in the beaker and with constant stirring until the ph becomes 2 of that mixture okay the mixed solution is cooled in ice bath for 10 minutes then this mixture solution is cooled in ice bath okay for 10 minute then we have to, after solid uh, mass form after getting formation of that uh, solid mass then we have to vacuum filter of that mass means your synthesized product and then this synthesized product rinsed with ice cold water then we have to rinse uh, with the help of ice cold water and the product is recrystallized from hot water yield 1.2 g and melting point will be 158 to 159 degrees celsius then this uh, synthesized the crude product is recrystallized from hot water okay and your yield will be 1.2 g 
and melting point will be 158 degree celsius to 159 degree celsius okay this is the synthetic procedure for for salicylic acid okay uh, then uh, you should know uh, you should know the uh, applications of filtration recrystallization condensation okay and this uh, in this uh, synthetic procedure uh, which reaction is involved hydrolysis okay then calculation uh, calculation in the calculation you should uh, if if you are calculating the theoretical yield for the any synthetic procedure then you should consider both factor like uh, first uh, first one is starting material which is the starting material and then you should consider the which is end product like in this case uh, your starting material will be methyl salicylate and your end product will be salicylic acid then you should uh, go through the molecule formula for both the structure like for uh, methyl salicylate and salicylic acid then from that molecular formula you 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 should calculate the molecular weight of the both the compound then molecular weight for this methyl salicylate is 152 gram and for this salicylic acid is molecular weight is 130 gram then you should uh, take the value from which in the procedure in the procedure uh, what amount has been taken for the uh, reaction like uh, in this case we have taken 3 ml of 3 ml of methyl salicylate okay here means 3 ml it uh, they have mentioned this value in ml then we should convert this ml to in gram how you how you will convert that uh, uh, ml to gram like just use the formula like density is equal to mass upon value so here uh, what value they have given they have mentioned density what is density density is 1.184 and what is the volume 3 ml so for getting uh, the mass in gram you should multiply the uh, volume that is 3 ml into 1.184 that is density you will get the mass in the gram so mass in the gram will be 3.5 gram so here you just uh, cross calculate the theoretical rate like 152 gram is equivalent to 130 gram of this salicylic acid then 3.5 gram is equivalent to x gram then x is equal to 3.5 gram into 138 divided by 152 then you will get the 3.1 as a theoretical heat now you should mention that in the result various uh, values uh, or various physical parameter like molecular weight theoretical yield practical yield uh, th uh, then percentage yield melting point and structure and chemical formula you should write this in the result okay this is all about the two days practical like synthesis of this salicylic acid generally this salicylic acid is used uh, means what is the application of the uh, applications of this salicylic acid this salicylic acid is used for the uh, preparation of aspirin and uh, like such a such a uh, our drugs okay